State of the region. Today, leaders from the business community met together to discuss where we are and where we're going. With signs of an economic uptick nationally, is the trend following suit here in the capital region? Matt Markham is live tonight in our capital newsroom. And Matt, what about it? Is it a bright or a dark outlook? Bright, they say, Liz. Brighter, perhaps, than it has been in recent years. However, there are critical issues businesses believe must be addressed to keep any momentum moving. We have a lot of people moving back to this region that want to come back here. They see what's happening. No longer is the Hudson Valley the selling point for business leaders. Tech Valley is the distinction they say keeps cash in this area. At one time, it really was aspirational. And then we were really sort of an emerging technology sector. And now anyone who's in the tech space, not just across the country, but really across the globe, Albany is now on the map. Regional chamber presidents are watching their members hire people and expand their products. You have to look at the GE renewal of interest, renewal and renewal in, into their energy business, but the expansion there and the opportunities that GE continues to thrive and have here in this region. The Siena Research Institute finds revenues and profits growing this year. Nevertheless, it can be a taxing venture for a business owner. The cost of doing business in New York, taxation, regulation. It can't be the actions of one or two legislative sessions. It has to be the new way that New York governs. That's the cloud which hangs over the horizon of downtowns and main streets. Siena surveyors found that only about a quarter of CEOs asked said they would set up shop in New York one more time. Most CEOs surveyed believe income tax reform and spending cuts should be the legislature's top priority. Governor Cuomo has proposed a $2 billion plan to cut taxes. Assemblymember Pat Fahey does not support the entirety of that plan. Why can't New York perhaps be a little bit more accommodating to businesses who might not do it again if they had the chance? Yeah, I think that that's unfortunate, and I'd like to think that that's sometimes people spouting off out of frustration. Clearly, though, there is a need for some of the mandate reliefs. I know workers' comp uh, has, been a, has been an issue. Clearly, we're holding the line on property taxes, which also affect businesses, um, and I think that that has helped. Well, Ms. Fahey says nearly $1 billion in that tax cut plan is caught up in the business transaction tax and the estate tax, the latter of the two, she says, only affects about 200 New Yorkers, most of them downstate, and the money lost there would have to be made up elsewhere, she says. However, the business community is in support of the whole plan as it stands, with the belief that any incentive to keep money flowing in the private sector is positive. The Siena survey also found one significant impediment to economic growth. You'll hear about that and a small business owner's point of view coming up at 6 o'clock, Dory.